Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess Wilson and I am super excited about today's topic. It is five things I wish I knew when I started pole dancing as a plus size dancer. This is important to me because I wish that I knew what I know now. So I'm hoping to help some of you out there that don't really know um, these tips yet. Number one is hand grip. I didn't know hand grip existed. I had a stainless steel pole. It was really slippery and pretty much in every video I have you see me with a hand cloth, sometimes rubbing alcohol, wiping my hands clean, wiping the pole clean. I could not do a spin without doing that immediately before I grabbed the pole. And if I had hand grip, it would have saved me a lot in the beginning, I think. Um, that being said, my absolute favorite pole grip is dry hands. I know it's a popular one out there. It is quite pricey, but I'm telling you right now, it's worth the investment, I promise. It'll save you a lot of frustration. Uh, I do know that there's a little bit of a shortage right now in Canada, especially. I did buy one called Two Toms, I think like Grip Aid, Grip Shield. I'm going to link it below with uh, dry hands. But I did like it. It was a lot better than nothing. But then once I finally decided to try dry hands, there was a little bit of a difference. So I say one, if you're struggling to get dry hands or you're not willing to spend the money, you could try um, two toms. But yeah, I wish I knew about hand grip. And not even that, once I knew about it, I wish I invested in it sooner because I just didn't think it was gonna be as important as it is to me. Number two is cheap leather leggings. Um, I have bought multiple cheap leather leggings and I have one pair of Creatures of XIX. I don't really know if you say it like that, that's how I say it. Um, and I do love the Creatures leggings. Uh, I don't find the grip as nice as my cheap leather leggings. So. For that, I would say save your $100 and get a couple of um, cheap pairs. The grip is definitely different. I feel more comfortable um, in, in grips, especially upside down in my leather leggings. I buy mine, or I bought mine from um, Marshalls, which is a, de a department store here. But I did go on Amazon for you guys and try to find um, a cheapish pair that was made of the right material. So I'm going to link those in the description below for you guys. Number one, it helps your skin and number two, if you're going to post on social media and you don't want to be like totally naked, I highly recommend getting a pair of cheap leather leggings. Number three is probably the most important one on this list is don't expect to lift yourself. This one is so important because I actually get a lot of comments from people saying I can't lift myself, what do I do? Or I just got my pole, I can't lift myself, ah, help. And it's it's true, like it is super hard to lift yourself. And if you go into pole already knowing, okay, I probably won't be able to lift myself. Not saying that you can't, there's a lot of people that can, but if you have your expectations a little bit lower, then you'll save yourself some disappointment when you first try pole. Number four, this one is also, <laughs> I mean, they're all really important, but this one is important too. It is how important conditioning is. In the beginning, I knew I had to condition, that was my plan, but I focused heavily on conditioning my shoulders, my biceps, um, my forearm grips, and anything in my arms really. I didn't focus on my core, my back, my butt, my legs. And um, going back, I probably would have progressed faster if I had conditioned it all from the beginning. There was a big difference for me once I started conditioning my core. Conditioning your whole body is super important. Number five is poles have different finishes. And most of you are probably smarter than me. I did no research when I bought my pole. I just thought, you know, stripper pole, they all are the same. So I didn't think anything of it when I bought mine. But I had a stainless steel pole and I am naturally a very sweaty person. So I had a wicked hard time 
um, using my pole, uh, like I said before, I had to wipe my hands constantly to just stick and had I had put some research into it in the beginning, I would have chosen um, a silicone or a brass, hands down. So those are the five things that I wish I knew when I started my plus size pole journey. It certainly isn't easy and there's not really a lot out there on how to start as a plus size dancer or your expectations. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to hit the and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See ya.